All right, check it out. See, you know how this picture is all vignetted and in that grain like that? Well, Grant was saying that when he's, you know, doing his uh, morb science, you gotta, it's got to be filmed on this stock. And then, like, it, uh, explain further. What I was going to say is, uh, on this stock, which is um, uh, Fuji Neopan 1600 ISO, because these are just 35 millimeter cuts, which, yeah, I mean, come on, you could go to the Fuji Film Company if you give time. Like they always say, for any TV show even, and just get it. So once you've gotten it, then um, in a scene, Mobius has a bunch of different vials, and he's like grabbing them because it's fifth grade science, like, uh, you know, the booth they set up at my movie theater, which I thought was hilarious. And he's like moving them around because, you know, it's like super, you know, moving. And then he's like moving and grooving while he's, you know, sort of moving these vials around. Like yeah, kind of have some music going. Like, yeah, it's some music going. And they're just extreme color reactions of different plant dyes, like cherry, you know, and like different things. And it looks really good because uh, you do it on a, uh, like, polymer screen with a little bit of silver sprayed into it, which they have now. They use, you know, occasionally. And you uh, reflect, you know, it the, the negative off of it back into color. So there's like a weird silvery color going on that's all like sexy and, you know, like chromatic from the, the reflections off of this black and white as he's pouring these different moob juice colors. And they might come out different unique colors different than the colors because it's a negative. You know, yeah, effect. then you can chromatically hyper enhance the yeah, color. So you yeah, watch it back on like a projector. And I know how Jared Leto is like a uh, faggot film school type of guy. <laughs> so he'll be like, mm. Well, yes, and stroke his little his little Leto Jesus beard and be like, mm, oh, I drink too much red wine. Mm. You know what I mean? And uh, yeah. you know, then it makes him feel really artsy. Now, if I can I continue here with this trend, this is for those flashback scenes and when he's making his boob juice in the final form, that's all sexy as he's spinning things, you know, listening and dancing to his music. You know, this is the kind of way it looks. You know, it's kind of sexy. Uh, so what I have next is. Um, because I want to do it all on Fujifilm Mobius 3. We were going to do a uh, 100 to 1000 ISO Fujicom RMS 120. Yeah, Fujicom. Yeah, so Fujicom has these really nice, like, not Sony colors, which is what I really like about Fujifilm. I'd really, really like if they made a cinematic camera with all of their LUTs in it for all their different types of films and, like, a sort of... It feels like... Grain. Kind of feels like as though the environment's stained with moss, you know? Yeah, sort of stained with moss and this bluish, greenish, not exactly underwater way, like there's too much green to it a little bit. It's just it's just beautiful. So if they could get cuts of this and record with it, that yeah, would Yeah, for certain shots. Yeah, for all that daylight sort of Mubius. Because, you know, Mubius, he's supposed to be, you know, like an emo kid, so... It has to be all moody in the middle of the day. Can't yeah. ever be not moved out, you know. Yeah, and the only time is when the Power Rangers defeat him, and then there's like hyper colors blasting everywhere exactly. suddenly. But during his all whole of his Mobius plot, yeah. his uh, you know experiments, it's all this color, you know. Yeah. When he walks outside and talks to people and gets shipments of stuff to make his move juice, you know. Well, that's why we're saying like he keeps moving up because like. He like got defeated by the Power Rangers, and it was it's all just a fifth grade science experiment. So he doesn't even care because he's all he's not all powerful, but he's all crazy. And so then, like we're saying, he he brings in the uh, colors through the uh, cat scan thing we described. Yeah, and th that's what I was gonna bring up here is uh, this is a one thousand six hundred ISO, and I'm gonna show you some photos here. Uh, it's called Fujifilm Superior. Yes. And I love it. it we took does some pictures of it. Everything you need all at once. It can transition to great color and it can have that Mobius effect right before you like turn on big LEDs. I'll show you examples here. So. Oh, yeah. Example here with all, all the this, uh, you know, moodiness and flames. It's very, uh, you know, moody. It's, you know, good for dark environments with big Hollywood movie lights, LED lights. You got, you know, like, examples. Yeah, beautiful. And so it looks really good. And then, boom, you see what I mean? Oh. When you're using all their different shit. Yeah, there's the comparison contrast. It's so great. It's going to be beautiful. It'll be fabulous and all that stuff. 
And so the last photo stock in the list is for when Mubi, Mubius, because, you know, he's doing these experiments to try to return to being in human form. He's obsessed with it, in fact, would be his character, right? He needs to be, you know, like, more human. Because he's like Mr. Political while not caring about politics so, or, or the mob or anything. So, you know, he's been dead so long because he's, you know, Morbius, you know, Michael Morbius, that he's trying to keep condensing his gas to where he can get more powerful so he actually has mm-hmm. strength again. You know, so because he was defeated. So it's like this journey of internal moving and like moldering on his movie thoughts, you know what I mean? And then in certain, you know, like breakthrough moments, you know, you see this uh, Natura like uh, 1600 ISO for, you know, night shots where he's like moving around the city and looking at like glowy signs and stuff. And you see this, you know, kind of color increase, a light up. Yeah, like super like where, flared and light. Where you yeah. see, like, you know, people, he sees people yeah. that he's not, you know, like, in things that he's, you know, more appeals to his moobiness. Yeah, and then people that, like, have been enhanced with his moob juice, you know, they're, like, you know, glowing a certain way as he's, like, taking over the city. Yeah, so his fond memories are all in this, you know, fucking sort of brighter film. Yeah. In this natural 1600. Oh, yeah. Because you see, it's it's really. I was looking for a shot of nature. Here it is. Like, yeah, it's really bright. It's really it feels like, precise, alive. even though it's it's too bright. But it still feels precise. Yeah, it's great. And if you could, uh, you know, if this could be sponsored by Fujifilm and they could, uh, you know, sell me some cheap cuts at the theater as part of like, you know, the forty X experience. See, with this one, I'm going with a different theme. Popcorn buckets were before, like the open hammer, which hits you in the chin, you know, when you open it, which is stupid, but everybody loves it to get at the popcorn. <laughs> and uh, the, uh, the foldable box was a great idea. I, you know, I came up with the foldable sides. So with this one, it's going to be you get a cut of whatever type of film you want when you pay for the Mubius, like, side color light experience, you know what I mean? But with the, since it's Mubius 3, I assume they'll probably be implementing QLED side screens at this point. Yeah. So big bitches can look across. They're yeah. borderless. Exactly. So, like... 3D, you know, screen axe. Beautiful. Yeah. So then, you know, there, you could get, like, a cut of uh, natural 1,600 ISO or the 100 to 1,000, you know, because those are really easy to take photos with and to record, I assume, movies with because they're very... Fujifilm's really good at being able to push and pull it back into perspective so that you don't ever have ruined shots as much. Yeah. So it would just be, you know, a cool marketing thing to be able to I get mean, some of that. Because you know, the tickets are so expensive. I'd be so happy with a little bit of push-pulling in the film while the speed is ramped, at least from 24 to 30 or something, or whatever. Or just the trick where you have the interlaced 24 and 24 from both directions thing going on. Yeah. Add it in for any, um, like, digital, you know, yeah, so it isn't just 24. Yeah, we to a digital-like camera, the closest to Fujifilm that can be engineered, put together with a sensor maybe in, like, a housing with some fans. Or just, if Fujifilm, <coughs> there's some people available who want to pretend to be Fujifilm this second. <coughs> yeah. They can actually build something even better. Yeah. And listen, that new Fujifilm H- H2XS... Uh, uh, which is just the super edition, apparently, super eyes. Yeah. I want to test that out. If you send that to me for free Fujifilm, I will test that shit all day, baby. I'll record all the beautiful nature. Yeah. Just say it. That might even record my dick. Yeah. That's pretty natural. <laughs> well, yeah. I guess that's all for now. All right, so Morbius' first experimental bat, vampire bat experimentations on himself, just himself, were horrific, and he couldn't actually barely handle it, and, you know, he almost turned into a, you know, murderous vampire bat. So what happens, basically, it seems like, is his earliest serum somehow gets heisted, lifted, whatever, in transport, something, you know, silly. And then people, then they're getting a hold of that, and then they've got, like, vampire bat, like, death zombieism transmutations. So then he himself 
is trying to put down the vampire bat plague of his that his enemies have created out of stealing his morb juice before it was ever even morb juice. You see what I'm saying? I've just been inspired by my infinite knowledge of how awesome I am of myself, in myself, self-influenced and selfishly. So, Morbius, because Jared Leto is also selfish, um, it's like, he's like running along, you know, and there's like a, a vent tunnel, you know what I mean, that's like out of the sewer from some restaurant with superheated steam or something, you know, from like their, their pressure cookers or some shit, who even gives a fuck because it's third grade science, and he just runs and he just starts morbid, you know, he's like, <laughs> as like, you know, like all of his spine bones lengthen and people don't know what's happening at first, as wings start growing out of, you know, his arms, you know, as he fully fucking like morbs out, you know. And his wings snap out to full extension, like, as he starts to, like, hover like Iron Man on his feet and legs, you know, and hands, and he's like, <laughs> as he's, like, going along with his morb gas, you know, and, like, as he fully, like, his wings fully <laughs> out and extend out the end of the tube, you know, like, you know, out of whatever, the side of the cliff or something, he extenuates his wings and little bits of acid fall in the moonlight from his bleeding, you know, sides of his neck tendons down into the water and make little flamey blue explosions that blow up off of the surface with, like, this weird, like, orange reflective light, you know, that's, like, on the surface of the water with each explosion, you know? Um, so he... He's in a tunnel that was near the city that goes out to the cliff of the ocean or something? Yeah. Okay. He's, sure. all, he's all morbid out, you know? Yeah. There you go. The, those post, that poster's like blue flames, and it's like shock waving across the surface of the tunnel, you know, like a spiry chipotle burrito asshole. And it's all like ghost, like pepper flames, you know, basically, like <laughs> all blue. As it's all like, as he like flies out into the night with little embers of blue, you know, the inverse color of orange everywhere. Yeah, He's nice. got little cranberry footfalls as he starts to morb, you know. Yeah. And they make it super gross because he starts bleeding as he starts morbing and all. It all starts turning to acid, of course, corroding yeah. the pipe he's running through. Cool. Because he's just morbs so fucking hard because he's got his new morb juice that he's like, <sighs> acid just burns everything. He just, his skin is just like fucking like, you know what I mean? Like his blood just burns everything. Yeah.